In this video, I'll show you how sine wave motion in Taekwondo is related to the natural springing motion of the joints. In the first video of this series, I showed you how sine wave motion in Taekwondo is not an exact sine wave, but shares an attribute of sine wave in that the body or limbs change direction very smoothly when performing a technique. The smoothness of a sine wave can be observed when it's represented as motion around a circle at constant speed. Notice that horizontally the movement is also a sine wave. If we view the motion around the circle from an angle, it appears that the object is moving in the shape of an ellipse. The vertical movement up and down will follow the exact same sine wave as it did before. This shows that if we follow an elliptical trajectory, for example, doing a slight curve as we change direction, as we do with a punch, then it will be more like a sine wave. But it won't be an exact sine wave because the movement won't be a perfect ellipse throughout the motion. And it won't be at constant speed. At some point there's going to be acceleration. Here are some examples where you can see how the body and limbs change direction in a curved way, similar to an ellipse. But how do we ensure that our bodies are moving like a sine wave when moving linearly? For example, with a sitting stance middle punch, our bodies move up and down, but not side to side or forwards and backwards. So we're moving vertically in a straight line. Well, let's go back to the example of an object moving around a circle. If we now view it from a 90 degree angle, we no longer see the horizontal motion, only the vertical up and down motion. The sine wave in the vertical axis will be the same as it was before, but the sine wave in the horizontal axis has been completely flattened out. This vertical motion we're seeing here is an exact representation of the motion of an oscillating spring. An object suspended on a spring will oscillate following an exact sine wave. Notice how the object gradually decelerates and then accelerates in the opposite direction in a smooth way, instead of changing direction suddenly or pausing before it changes direction. So we need to do the same when performing Taekwondo techniques with sine wave motion. We need to use our joints as if they were springs. Going back to the example of sitting stance middle punch, the knees will act as springs when moving up and down. So the body will drop and then raise in a smooth way because of knee spring. In fact, General Che Hong Hee often spoke about knee spring, especially in the era before he introduced the concept of sine wave motion. So to summarize, when performing a technique with sine wave motion, sometimes use a slight curved motion when changing direction. But if moving linearly, make sure it's very spring-like. Now in part three, I'll be explaining the three stages of sine wave motion. So I hope you join me for that one.